In this video, we are going to see how we can use uh, CGHUM uh, PLC to create CSV files um, and store them in the compact flash card or uh, EM uh, memory area. So, the first thing uh, I'm going to show you in here before I get into the, the program is if, uh, is if we want to use the uh, the EM area as a storage area, uh, you know, for example, let's say we don't have uh, the memory card, uh, the compact flash card, and we want uh, to use just the EM area for uh, that purpose. So the first thing you want to do is you want to set up or tell the PLC that you're going to use that area for that purpose. And the way to do that, you go to PLC, and then memory allocation, and then you go to EM memory settings. Now, as you see here, I already kind of checked that, that I want to use this uh, memory uh, allocation for the purpose of file memories. And because I have uh, the model I have is CP31, so I only have uh, one uh, bank of this uh, EM uh, area. In some other PLCs, they have more memory, so you could have uh, like uh, I think three or four. Depending on the model, uh, you will have more uh, more banks uh, of these area, and then you can specify which one you want to use uh, for the purpose of storing files. So once you have done that, now I'll go online uh, with the PLC again. And in this video, I will show you both. I will show you how uh, to create the CSV and store them in the EM area in case you don't have the memory card, or uh, if you have the memory card, uh, then how to store that in the memory card, and then have access to that, to those CSV files uh, via FTP, which is built in in the, uh, in the CJ uh, PLC. And again, if we want to have access to those uh, stored files uh, via the FTP, then we want to do, uh, we want to enable that. And to do that, you go to the I/O table, double click on that, and then we want to go to the built-in Ethernet IP port. I'm going to double click on that, and then we get this window. So in here we have a tab that says FTP, and here, as you see here, I already said that I want to use the FTP, and you have to you give it a login and uh, a password uh, to use it, and then you can transfer to the uh, to the unit from the PC to the unit, um, and then it will ask you to restart, so you can uh, restart uh, the unit, and that's that's all you have to do to enable the FTP. So once these two steps has been done, then the next step is you know the creation of the CSV file. So to do that, we will use this function uh, block, the F write seven o one. To, uh, to do that. Now, if we go to the help of this instruction, it kind of lay out uh, all the details about the instructions and what it's, each uh, area it's for, like we have the control word, the first destination, the file name, uh, and the first source uh, word. So you can go through the file, it's really uh, good to uh, go through it and uh, take the, your time uh, to go through it so you can have more understanding how this uh, works. So for our purpose, for right now, the way I set up, I set up this block is I put in here um, an hex tree. So tree means um, basically is I want to create uh, the file with the CSV uh, extension. If we go back again to the help, we can see that the last uh, four digits uh, in here are dedicated for that purpose and that's why I picked three in here because I want to use uh, comma delimited word uh, CSV and I'm using one word per uh, field. You could also you know pick the four if you want to have two words per field and so forth. And then in the next four digits uh, I have A because I want to return every two fields. Because the idea is that I'm having basically a table that has two columns and then it's going to have basically six rows. 
so that's why I picked A in here for the two fields. But you know, uh, you can pick whatever that will work for your uh, purpose uh, and how you want to create that CSV file, depending on how many uh, rows and columns the CSV file can have. And the other thing, also in the last uh, byte in here, I have one. Again, if we go back to that uh, instruction or help file, the one mean I want to store the file in the EM uh, area. If I was uh, to want to store it in the memory card, then I would put zero, and we will do that in the next uh, once we get to the uh, store it in the memory card. So that's for that. And then for the D, the first uh, destination. So in here we have basically the D50 uh, and I want to uh, basically uh, store six words. So that's why I specified in this one uh, six words. And then the other uh, words, they are all zeros. And you will see once you go to the help file, uh, when you're you know storing for CSV and stuff, you just leave those as zeros. And then the file, the name starts from D4. Now you will see here uh, I have 5C, which is just the backslash. 41 is uh, A, and then 42B and 43 is, is C uh, in hex. So if you convert those to ASCII, that's what you're going to get, and that's what we're going to see uh, when we look at the EM uh, area. We're going to see that the file that was created has a name of abc.csv. Now if you want uh, maybe uh, to have a folder, then you can have 5C and then the folder name, another 5C and then the file name. Or perhaps you want this whole thing is dynamic. You could perhaps uh, you know have uh, this changed dynamically so you can feed it with whatever the file name is going to be. Uh, maybe uh, the date of that day or, or something else. So this will dynamically change as the file is created and so forth. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to keep it simple. So we'll just give it uh, ABC. And it's just on the root directly, um, and we're going to see that once we uh, uh, hit this this bit, trigger this bit, and then the the first source word that's where the the data we're going to store. Um, so I have here D from D100 to basically D105. Now the first two words I kind of feel you know, I have them as let's say the the header or the first row of that CSV. So that's why you have like 49, 44, which is uh, ID. So in ASCII, this is ID. And then 40, uh, 54, 41, that's uh, TA. Uh, like for example, ID and uh, tag, for instance. So I just kept it simple here. And then I have the, the values of 1, 2, 3, 4, for the values I want to have for this, uh, for this uh, headers. Uh, and then we can, we're going to see that in the CSV file. Um, so once we have set up uh, all uh, of these the way we want it, then all we have to do is we'll, we'll trigger this bit to create that. But before doing that, I just want to show you, if I go here to the memory card, this is my uh, EM file area, double click on it. All right now it shows that I have, because I was uh, obviously uh, testing this, so I already created this one, but I'm going to delete it. So right now we have nothing in there. And I'm going to close that, and I'm going to tell it to um, create that. So you see here, this uh, status bit is now on. So that's a good sign. That's mean the file memory um, uh, access or writing it's basically enabled and because I don't have any uh, like this bit here 08 is 0 that's mean I have no error so everything is, is going okay there's no complaints there's nothing uh, that's uh, abnormal so if I turn this off and then like let's say go to our memory card here and we'll access this area and we'll see here our file has been created so that's basically how you can create the CSV file. So now that we create this file, I want to have access to it 
using FTP. So to do that, I'm going to go to my computer and I'm going to create uh, an FTP connection. So I'll say add a network. <coughs> Excuse me. Connection. I'll say next. And I'll say FTP. Um, and this is my IP address for my PLC. So I'll add that in there. Say next. I don't want to anonymously log on. So I'm going to say Alma. If you remember in the FTP setting, we have set up Alma 123456 for our password. I'll say next. And then I can call it whatever I want. So I'll say my FTP test. And I'll say next. Ask me if I'll open after I'm done. Uh, I will say finish. And I will in here so we can see it. So now I'm accessing the PLC so I can see the memory card and the EM areas. If I double click on that, here is my file that we uh, created. So now I can copy this. Just want to show you one thing that might be uh, useful. So I'm going to paste it uh, in here in just the desktop. So here it is. And then I'll just open the file. So like we, we, uh, we mentioned before, this is 4944, which is ID. Uh, but here it comes as a hex, right? So if we want to convert this back to um, a characters from uh, the hex, what we can do is we can say this is equal. And we can use the character function of Excel. And then it's, it's want uh, a number. So there's another function that we can take advantage of, which is um, hex to decimal. And then also we're going to take advantage for another function, which is left, because we just want to grab the 49. And I'm going to say a1, which is that cell. And then I just want to grab two characters, the two first characters, so I can read that. And then after that, we want to do the same thing for the other uh, two characters, which is the 44. So I'm just going to be here a little bit lazy. I'm just going to copy this and paste it. And now here, instead of left, I'm going to say this time right. And as we see here, there we go, we have ID. And then we'll do the same thing for the next one, so tag. So now we know that, okay, the ID, this is ID and this is tag, and it, the value it has, you know, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and, that, and so forth. And that's what uh, we had in the PLC, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I just want to share this with you uh, as one way to basically convert this back to uh, a text that a person can understand. So if we go back now to our program, and let's say now that we want to create that file in the memory card rather than the EM area. So now all we have to do is, I'm just going to go offline for a second, and then go back to this guy. Now I'm literally writing that, but I could use uh, like a register and then change it dynamically from the PLC while online of it. So I should say zero, 00. So 0 mean I want to use the memory card. And then I'll just go online. I'll say yes. And then I want to transfer to the PLC. I'll say OK. Yes, yes. So it's downloading. And I'll say Okay, yes. Okay, so one useful uh, styles bit I have here is uh, this guy here. This guy is telling us that I have a compact flash card right now is connected. So it's good to have it in the logic, uh, so not to create errors uh, or why not. So if the card is not there, then you can't try it. You can't basically enable the 
file origin uh, function. So now I'm gonna again uh, before I guess triggering this this bit, just want to show you in the memory card I don't have any ABC file uh, CSV file. So in the same way I'll just trigger uh, this to one, and then notice this is on. So that's a good sign. That's mean we're writing to the card. Say zero, and if I go back to the memory card, I can see that the file has been created right there, same way as has been created in the EM uh, area. And again, if I go to my FTP connection, um, one thing we have to uh, to do just close this connection and reopen it to refresh basically the, the data. So just open it again, go to the memory card, and here is our uh, CSV file. And then in the same way you can copy it and massage it and do whatever you need to do uh, with it. So hopefully you enjoyed the, this video and it was uh, useful. And uh, thank you very much for watching.